What's up YouTube? Today we got the Aerotech touch plate and the Sonoff Basic. We're going to merge these two together to make a pretty cool light switch. On top of that we got to take that Sonoff Basic and cut it down so it'll fit a little better in that receptacle box. And we're going to add some new module plugs to that so it'll be a little easier to deal with the AC. So let's get to it. So this is what we got going on here. I got the saw right now and I'm about to cut down the Sonoff Basic so it'll fit a little better. Uh, we're going to cut the sides off here and then we're going to install these module plugs but we're going to have to cut out a little bit more of the sewn off to actually get these module plugs to fit correctly so i'm using the vibrating saw and we're cutting down the plastic in my picture here we have the lines going way by the neutral and the load and i didn't cut them far enough when i was making the video so in the picture it's correct, you need to cut them up that far to get them to fit. I am making a slot right now so the wires can come through so they can connect to the switch. Once we get done with that, we're going to go to the circuit board and we're going to remove the old module hookup screw terminal um, where you plug in the AC. And now I'm going to heat up the solder here and use my solder sucker to remove the solder so we can put the new module plug in so we can hook up the AC a little easier. Um, uh, what happens is you heat up the solder, this has like a suction, sucks the solder up, um, then you squeeze the solder sucker and it spits the hardened solder out. So that's what I'm doing right now. As you can see, there's a little hole there now where there was solder so we can get the new plug to come in there and fit. So now here's the new plugs that we're going to put in. And once we line them all up, I'll re-solder them back in. They're sticking out here. We're going to heat up the soldering iron and we're going to flow the solder again. Make them nice and tight. Just like they were before, add any where I might have weakened it up a little bit. Flow it nice and smooth so it has nice good connectivity. Doing the other side now, same thing. Get the solder to flow really nicely. Once we got it to flow, it'll harden up, keep those connectors in there. And it's a little choppy, so I'm smoothing it out. So now I just finished soldering the new two modules on. Went a little heavy with the solder, but AC is flowing through it. So now we're going to put the header pins on. Kind of skipped over that because you've seen people probably solder those before. Now we're going to actually uh, attach the Aerotech touch plate to the sewn off basic. Um, what I'm doing here is extending the wire, so I'm putting a screwdriver through the wires, kind of dividing them, making a little circle. Uh, you should be able to see that shortly. Yeah, so you got the screwdriver there, I'm making a circle. Once we got holes on all of them, we're going to take our uh, extending wires and slide them through, twist them all together so they're nice and tight as one piece wire. We got some heat shrink tubing that we're going to use to slide over this so they won't touch each other. Um, so once we cut it down, we only need to cover the, the bare wire. So we will slide the heat shrink tube over um, push it back far enough so when you're using the soldering iron you don't melt it. We're putting this wire through the loop and then we're going to bend it over and then we're going to twist this together so it kind of makes it like one piece. There you go, see? So now we're going to heat up the soldering iron and uh, solder these wires together after I probably put them through each loop. 
So when you, when you put a project in a wall or somewhere in an attic that you want it to continuously work, you're, you really want to make the job as professional as you can because you, you probably don't want to go back up in the attic. You probably don't want to open the wall again. You just you just want it to work and continue to work. So, I mean, that's that's some of the things you got to think about. Um, it's kind of like a prototype, you know. You, you take a a board, a blank board, or a project board, and you put a whole bunch of wires and you, you solder them, or or you uh, hold them there, or you tape them there. And yeah, it worked. Now, after you know it works, now that's the part where you want to take the next step and try to improve it, get some better wire, or um, make sure your soldering is good, or the heat shrink tube, so two pieces of wire that you had pretty close to each other maybe won't touch each other by adding the heat shrink. Um, those are all things once you want to permanently put your DIY projects somewhere in a wall or constantly going to be using them is a good idea to you know at least try to make them so they're gonna last and you're not gonna have any issues so I heat shrinked all three tubes and now I'm gonna put a big one on just to shrink them all together and hold them nice and tight together so we're not gonna have any problems down the road you probably could have got away with not doing that, but that's what I did. So, uh, Next thing is, I believe in this video, is connecting the wires to the sewn off. Uh, yep, yeah. so what I, most people have those pre-made jumpers. Um, what I'm doing is taking off the little plastic. If you lift up the little tab, you can slide these off and there's a kit on Amazon where you can buy just the plastic pieces. Um, I don't know what you call them, housings, headers. Um, they're not header pins, but um, yeah. So if you take all these off, and then what I do is I use a group of them. Instead of individual ones, I'm gonna use a group so it'll kind of like stay in place better one won't fall off you know or the other one will be loose i actually am going to put i think this one has four because there's a space in between one two i can't see i believe it's four could be five so yeah one two three four, five, so it's five because you needed two spaces between between on the header pins. So you have your power, your negative, and then your switch pin. So we're gonna hook that up to the sewn off. Um, what I did here is I did glue the sewn off to the back of the Aerotech touch plate. So it was like one piece and then I slid the module plug that we just put together in one module instead of separate header pins. Um, the power pin is the closest to the uh, Wi-Fi button and then or the on off relay however you have it set up and then you have your ground pin is the next wire and then you have your switch pin which is the next wire. So and then on this uh, Aerotech touch plate, we have the backlight switch. So if you want to see the backlight all the time. And then you have the speaker, so it actually makes a click noise um, every time you touch it. Kind of like simulating a, I don't know, a little switch flicking on and off. Which I don't really use because if you turn that off, and you click the button you actually still hear the relay clicking from the sewn off itself so uh, it's kind of cool but not necessary in my opinion so that's what we got the sewn off basic and the aerotech touch plate merged together and we made a 
light switch. So thanks everybody. Hope you guys have a great day and uh, if you liked hit the thumbs up and if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button. Like I said I got kids but I'll try to make videos as often as I can. Thanks. Bye.